Hi Antoine, as a, as a child I was very much interested uh, in dinosaurs, knew all their names, followed them, and in fact we still have dinosaurs. Uh, the birds are really a direct descendants of dinosaurs. But what do they have in common with whales? Well, they're, you know, dinosaurs went extinct and whales could potentially go extinct. In fact, the Atlantic gray whale went extinct in the last couple of hundred years. So unless we really address this issue, then we're going to lose the whales. And if we lose the whales, well, we're going to have a very serious uh, diminishment of phytoplankton in our oceans because the whales actually feed the phytoplankton and the farmers of the ocean, providing nitrogen and uh, iron in the form of their feces, which they bring up from deep depths and spread on the surface. So we're really spreading the fertilizer that produces uh, the phytoplankton. And phytoplankton has had a 50% diminishment since 1950, so it's a very serious thing. If we lose phytoplankton, we, human beings, will go extinct. We can't survive on this planet without phytoplankton because it produces uh, about 70% of the oxygen in our atmosphere. In fact, it'll threaten all life on this planet. Phytoplankton is the foundation. And, uh, you know, there's been five major extinctions in uh, in the planet's history, and uh, right now we're in what's called the sixth major extinction, called the Anthropocene, because it's named after us. And the difference between the former extinctions and this one is that we're totally responsible for it. The dinosaurs went extinct because of a, of a natural occurrence, which a uh, asteroid hitting the Earth, and uh, the Earth recovered. In fact, the Earth has always recovered from these extinction events, but it takes a long time, 18 to 20 million years. So uh, if we don't succeed here, it's going to take a long time to recover and we're not going to survive. So really, I've always said that the conservation movement is really about saving humanity from humanity. But at the same time, we do have a moral obligation to protect as many species as possible. And the latest UN report is saying that we're going to lose a million species uh, within the next hundred years. And uh, that's just unacceptable. So we have to do everything we can. And I, I believe that you, you, you have the passion and the imagination and the courage to contribute to making sure that we protect as many species as possible. Thank you.